Hi everyone, welcome to another crafty video. Today I am showing you how to create your very own desk calendar using all your favorite designer papers. I used lots of Trincraft first edition paper pads I had in my stash. We'll try to link everything in the description below as some of them are discontinued. So let's get started. First I'm going to show you the supplies you will need. I already cut all my papers but I will give you all the measurements. First thing first. You will need two pieces of grey board. This will be the base of your calendar and they measure 8 by 4 inches. For matting the grey board, I used my favorite of craft textured mirror card in this lovely copper color. You can use whatever paper or card you like, of course, but I would recommend something in a plain color. These are the same size as the grey board, like 8 by 4 inches. So you will need two of these. Next you need two pieces of pattern paper. I'm using different papers for the front and the back of the calendar. These measure about 7 and 3 quarter inches by 3 and 3 quarter inches. These will be smaller than the first layer as I wanted the mirror card to create like some sort of frame around it. For the base on the top of the calendar you will need one piece of paper measuring 8 by 3 and a half inches for the base and one piece of paper of 8 by 1 and 3 quarter inches for the top. These pieces will keep the calendar together. For the pages you will need 13 squares measuring 3 and a half inches. You can use a die to cut them in the same size or you can just cut them by hand, either way is fine. I use different patterns for each month, some of them are double sided, some of them are single sided. You also need to print out a calendar. I made this in Procreate. The squares for each month are 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches. I printed the calendar on an A4 sheet of white card and cut out the months. You will also need two binding rings. And I decided to create a small pocket as well. Let's start by matting the grey board. So take your 8 uh, by 4 inches pieces of grey board and your paper in the same size, the mirror card in my case, and glue them together. Next, take your patterned paper and affix it to your grey board. Center the paper so you will create a frame around it. Do this for the front and the back of the calendar. In the next steps, we will fix these two panels together. Take your 8 by 3 and a half inches paper Then make marks at quarter inch 1 and 3 quarter inches and 3 and a quarter inch and score So you'll have three scored lines, two on the sides and one right in the middle. Fold the middle line first and burnish it. Then start folding the other two lines in the opposite direction and burnish them as well. Then 
This will be the base on which you'll glue your two panels. It will make your calendar stand and will allow you to fold it as well. There are two ways to fix your panels. You can either fix the flaps from the base to the front of the panels or glue them on the inside, which is the option I'm choosing. Now for the top side of the calendar, take your 8 by 1 and 3 quarter inches piece of paper. This one will need to be glued on top of the panels. You can leave it 8 inches long or you can adjust it to the length of your pattern paper if you wish. This is what I will do, so I will trim this to 7 and 3 quarter inches long. In order to glue it to the calendar, you will need to score it first. So score your paper at 3 quarter inches and 1 inch. Then fold and burnish the scored lines. Now just glue it to the top of the calendar. For the next step you need your 3 and a half inch squares and a hole puncher. First you need to measure and mark where you want your holes to be. I created a template which I'm going to use for marking the pages. So I marked the holes at about 5 eighths of an inch from the sides. Mark all the pages. Then mark the calendar as well, as you will have to punch holes in it too, so you can add the binding rings. After punching all the holes, print your calendar and cut out all the months. Then just glue them onto the pages. One of the pages will be the title page. I used a few number dice for cutting 2021 from a adhesive glitter card. This is how all the pages look like.
Insert the binding rings and add all the pages. The great thing about using binding rings is that you can always add more pages if you need to, like for adding birthdays, events, notes, whatever you want. Also, you can reuse the calendar and change the pages for the next year. On the back of the calendar I decided to add a small pocket for tags, notes. The finished size for the pocket is 3 by 3 and a half inches, so I had a 4 by 4 and a half piece of paper, which I scored a quarter inch and half an inch on the sides, and at half an inch and one inch on the bottom. Then trimmed the corners, accordion folded everything and glued it onto the calendar using some strong double-sided tape. So that's it everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you try making it yourself don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Also if you want to see more videos like this one don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again and see you next time, happy crafting!